Welcome to another episode of the Proven Sales Letter Breakdown Series that I'm doing for 90 days. So today we're going to look at another Eugene Schwartz promotion. This one's pretty famous. Uh, it's the uh, burn disease out of your body promotion. And this one has several versions actually. So it has probably a more well-known um, like longer form promotion as well, which was mailed to people. But this one, uh, this is the shorter version. And this was a newspaper uh, version of this ad. Uh, it was first published in um, 1981 by Eugene Schwartz. He's one of the uh, like fathers, grandfathers of copywriting. And he, fun fact, he has a $125 book called Breakthrough Advertising, which is considered to be like the Bible of, uh, of copywriting itself. Um, so a few things before we dive deeper into this uh, promotion, actually. Uh, the one thing, Eugene Schwartz often had a more, um, let's just say more aggressive type of copy from time to time. So as you read this, as you see, you can see how the promise is pretty strong and uh, it might sound a little hypey to some people, but like don't try to jump to conclusions before thinking uh, anything else because this promotion mailed for like 20 years profitably in the alternative health niche, which is a super competitive niche. So it's, it's pretty safe to say that, you know, this thing was working. So even though it might sound hypey or uh, maybe even scammy to some people like, burn the seed out of your body by lying flat on your back using nothing more than the palm of your hand it might might seem like bullshit to some people but here's a, here's a clue like people want to hear this they want to believe this uh, because they they want easy solutions they want quick fixes they want magic pills it's another thing that they don't believe it necessarily but this is what they actually want and in 1981 before all these uh, scammy uh, you know, offers that we have nowadays in alternative health, people were much less uh, skeptical with these types of promotions. I'm not saying something like this would necessarily work today. Like you would probably need much more proof here, much more um, like uh, studies quoted or something like that to like really show how, uh, let's say, a method, a unique method like this really works, but it all depends on the audience. Like think about it. If your audience is people who really believe in like energy healing, let's say, then then it would it will work for them because that's what they already believe. And here's a great um, lesson in copywriting right off the bat. It's that people, uh, like you just want to find out what people in your target audience actually believe and you just wanna like confirm it to them. That's it, that's the aim of your copy. That's the way how you move them to take something, to, to, to take an action, to do something uh, by validating one of their already existing beliefs. And if they believe in this, I mean, you're just putting uh, fuel on the fire. So with that being said, let's just see how this promotion looks like. So first of all, it's a newspaper ad. So it's kind of like, uh, it doesn't really stand out even though it's written advertisement here. Most people don't really notice it to be honest, like they're just flipping pages and they're not gonna notice like it's an ad. But it, it, it starts with like a how-to fascination. And if you're not really familiar, like Chaba, what the hell is a fascination? Like check out my earlier videos, especially from uh, Mel Martin, he was like the master of fascinations and uh, you'll find more info there. But like how modern Chinese medicine helps burn disease out of your body. So it's like a how-to fascination. The Chinese medicine part is important because it's something unique. Like it has that exotic factor, at least it had back in those days. Uh, burn disease out of your body. This is the big promise and, I, and it's a really big promise lying flat on your back using nothing more than the palm of your hand. So this kind of uh, hints at the unique mechanism on how this whole thing actually works. And it's very important to have a unique mechanism because otherwise you just have a big promise. Like people have no concept of how this thing works. And uh, especially in headlines, it's a great idea to like just tease or showcase, showcase how your unique anything like unique mechanism 
is capable of of getting you the end result that you want which is to like burn disease out of your body so uh, after this headline complex we have this let's say it's the lead so it's the first thing that gets you to read the rest of the promotion um, it's pretty interesting that it's it's all in caps lock. So again, today maybe it would be a bit too hypey. I wouldn't necessarily use it, but it's uh, it's definitely there to get your attention. And uh, even though it's it's selling something that's technically a prevention because like you wanna it sells you a method to prevent disease, but it still kind of acts or sounds like a magic pill. And remember, that's what people want. They want magic pills. They want to like magically take care of their problems. Even though they believe it's not necessarily true, they still want it. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't true at all. And uh, in fact, Eugene Schwartz was a great believer in uh, Dr. Dr. Chang's stuff. In fact, according to some stories, after he had a stroke, when he was 60 something years old, uh, he went to, uh, who, to this guy, this doctor here uh, to to get uh, treatment for it actually to get alternative treatment as well Stephen Stephen T. T. Chang so uh, the lead part itself begins by saying that finally and Eugene Schwartz loved this thing finally at last new a new although 4,000 year old and different type of self-healing um, so immediately we get once again, the unique mechanism, like this is something different. This is self-healing. You don't have to uh, like get an operation or something like that. You don't have to get surgery uh, because that's what people are afraid of. Like they're terrified of it. And then this whole part basically is just there to give some, some news value to this whole thing, that it's something new. And it also uh, establishes some credibility. We get introduced to Dr. Stephen T. Chang, who basically gives an introduction to his method. And it's really smart, actually, if you think about it from a copywriting perspective, because this kind of gives the reader kind of a, a real time discovery that they're doing. So like as they're reading this, it's just like how they are discovering this, this whole new method of healing. And then this part here, it just showcases the problem. So it, it describes what's wrong with like traditional medicine, for example, or what's wrong with getting old. If you get old, you know, you have all these chronic issues that, that can definitely be a problem. And the target audience probably can relate to this, definitely. Uh, and then he, the copywriter uh, here, basically, after describing the problem, he introduces the unique mechanism, like how something like internal exercises actually can help you solve those issues help you fix those problems and this creates desire in people and that's what you really want to create desire in them to create an emotion an, an emotional pull an emotional appeal to like mm, read more of this stuff okay uh, we have some more benefits after this part. And then after a few hundred words of copy, we get to the uh, first subhead. And it's really important to use subheads to just break up your text, okay? Uh, it's uh, recommended regardless of what type of copy you use. After a few paragraphs, it's, it's a good idea to uh, use subheads. And we have another big promise as the first subhead. So as you can see, this isn't like the type of copy that Gary Ben Sevenga uses. He's really big. He's really big on proof, but this is really heavy on 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 promise. And I'm not saying it doesn't have proof elements because it does. But to my taste, at least, or compared to Gary Ben Sevenga, who has proof marketing um, as a specialty, like this is really in your face. Like this is what you get, and it's a big, big, bold promise. So basically, the copywriter says self-healing, which is the natural result of doing these exercises on a regular basis, is guaranteed. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty big promise, but uh, hey, it worked. So this is what people want. And you know, one of the cool things about copy is that everybody has an opinion about it. Like some people think this is brilliant and some people think this is garbage. But 
it's it's safe to basically just ignore all those people because at the end of the day what really matters is how well the copy converted how well it worked and you know what for 20 years it worked so you might like it you might not like it but this is what worked in that time for those people okay so from this point on uh you know after this this first uh, subhead we have a few paragraphs which um, which have quotes and this kind of serves serves as proof so uh the first one is it just showcases how this is fast and easy and remember people want fast and easy in anything the not the the second one highlights how it's not difficult the third one highlights uh the reason why behind the unique mechanism so how the unique mechanism works and why it's so powerful and then that's the whole second paragraph the second part here and then from there on out we get to more content uh, elements and this is something that gary ben Sivenga, once again one of my favorite copywriters was big on is to uh, make your advertisement itself very valuable okay so basically what eugene schwartz came up with here i think is brilliant because it basically um just describes a few exercises a few sample exercises that you can use uh to just give this whole thing like to get a better taste of how this whole thing works and this is really smart because it involves the reader it acts kind of like a demonstration it's like hey do this like sit or stand with your hands simply extended in front of your chest at the level of your shoulders as shown on page 82 so it's first of all it creates um like curiosity like hey what can that be but secondly it involves people people start like like getting in those positions they start imagining like how how can this be and once they're moving once they're acting doing something that you want them to do it's much more likely that they'll become buyers later on when you ask them to buy something because they've already done something so it's a it's an interesting uh, psychological phenomenon but it definitely works and eugene schwartz knew this and by just giving away a little bit of content from uh, from this this product um he he acts as kind of a demonstration which can be really powerful just think of all those infomercials a few years ago like billy mays and people like that it's really powerful uh, then after this part we have basically more explanation of how this thing works and uh, although in my opinion you know the question of fate still remains uh, a problem here so if people don't necessarily believe in this type of healing uh, they are they're gonna call this bullshit but then again probably they are not the the correct target audience that we're targeting here okay so um so uh you always have to uh keep in mind who you're writing to because you're not writing to everybody you're writing to a specific target audience and you have to validate their pains fears hopes and dreams so above this part we basically have a little section about the author itself about stephan t chang and here we have another disguised big promise it's like instant improvement uh here we have a headshot of him and because he's chinese and you know especially back in those days everything that that was oriental like meditation and like new age stuff you know all these things that came from uh from the east had kind of a, an exotic element to them it's like oh those chinese people sure know how to do certain stuff like they must have some secrets that we here in the west kind of forgot and that's the same uh, tone that that the first line also plays at because uh eugene short says at last a new although it is four thousand years old uh self-healing method so it's new because it's kind of been rediscovered by the west but it's proven because it's four thousand years it's like ayurvedic medicine or something like that so after this this headshot we basically just have uh, 
proof elements that you know this is the guy who knows what he's talking about because he has all these various titles and qualifications and it just this whole thing just builds up his authority okay so that's the the main thing here and then we have even more credibility building so this whole two sections it's all about credibility and proof but then jumping back to the main um, mail, uh, main sales um, message here, we have another subhead which says, and these are the results Dr. Cheng promises you. And a cool thing about this, and I've never seen this before in some places, is that everything has uh, quotes here. So they're kind of like testimonials, although I'm not really sure, to be honest, whether these were true testimonials or not, but they're, they're seem as testimonial testimonials but at the same time they have tons of benefits as well so it's like putting bullets and fascinations but disguised as testimonials all throughout uh, the, uh, this part so everything from here it's various benefits coupled with demonstrative elephants as kind of like testimonials and then even until this point you know it's like it's like proto-fascinations, what I would call them. It's like almost fascinations, but not quite. But they kind of serve the same purpose. Although they don't have that much uh, uh, curiosity to them. So it's more like uh, more like benefits and, uh, and uh, demonstrative elements. Plus, all this by Dr. Cheng. That's the other uh, subhead here. And then, once again, here we have bullets but this time without the quotes so these are kind of testimonial style bullets but these are true like bullets like how to bullets which are also act as fascinations okay so it's like uh how to check stomach sag merely by concentrating on your feet wow like that sounds interesting i want to find out uh it also has like a benefit to it it also has a curiosity aspect to it so what can it be and a bunch of these bullets, these build desire, so that's their main part. And then we have the last subhead, which is, as Dr. Chang said, if one never has a mild illness, then a serious disease will never develop. So this is just like a, a uh, easily repeatable little quote from Dr. Chang. If let's say the uh, the reader just wants to like tell something about this promotion that, that that they read to their spouse for example it's like hey honey i want to buy this book because it's so cool it's it talks about like rubbing your your disease away and you know dr chang actually said that you know if it if one uh, never has a mild illness then a serious disease will never develop as well and then you know honey that actually makes sense so that's that that is the aim of this part okay to just act as as like not okay not type of copy for people it's that they can agree with it and it's uh it's something that if they agree with again they're much more likely to buy something later on i think that is the the main use of it here so then we have some preemptive objection handling always uh, an important part in uh, in any sales message so to just like discover what people will have problems with and uh, and preemptively answer them so uh, this is like how you know most medical men would have laughed at Taoist medical inventions but look at them now like acupuncture then we have some proof then we have another proof element like you know uh, thousands of people are healing themselves already uh, with this thing like do you want to become the next success story who also like uh, heals because of this and then we have the ordering instructions. So very simple, just basically send your payment here and that's it. And we have risk reversal elements. So pretty uh, pretty simple at the end. My, uh, you know, to be honest, who am I to like really critique Eugene Schwartz? But to my taste, actually, especially this version, because again, remember there's, there's another more um, extended version to this, uh, which, I know for a fact that it did really, really well. But for this version, this little end seems to go out with a whimper, to my taste. Because it's like, here are the ordering instructions. It's it's kind of a relatively weak call to action. There's no sign off. There's no, well, for a news, like this type of uh, space ad, you wouldn't necessarily have a sign off. But, but something more like 
I don't know, Gary Halbert always uses uh, a bunch of cool things at the end of uh, his uh, his ads. You know, uh, to me, this this kind of sounds a little bit weak, but again, like it, it, it worked. So like, why overcomplicate it if it works? Why, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? You don't necessarily have to force something on it. Um, but but yeah, I mean this this thing definitely worked. And as I said, you know this had several versions of it. The message obviously resonated with people, and I'm sure you can also learn a lot from this as well, especially on how to make uh, claims and how to make big promises, like something something memorable like this that people immediately are like, what the hell, like. How can I, what? That's the, that's the effect that you're looking for. It's just that nowadays you probably need more proof than this, okay? Uh, but, uh, but this is very important. And the other important concept that you can take away from this is to offer like a demonstrative element or try to involve people as they're reading the ad itself, the, the sales letter, as they're reading it, try to involve them so that they actually do something during it because then you're much more likely to uh, to convert them into customers. So yeah, with that being said, that's, that's this um, promotion. Again, from Eugene Schwartz, one of the best copywriters of all time. And if you enjoyed this, then feel free to like the video, uh, comment, share, you know, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, that way you will definitely not miss all these cool uh, in-depth breakdown videos that I'm doing. Uh, but that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Cheers.